let's solve some more integrals using gamma and beta let's take up the first one show that integral 0 to 1 of dx by square root of 1 minus x to the power of n is equal to square root of pi by n times gamma of 1 by n by gamma of 1 by n plus half okay so let's do some substitution let's take this and let's say x to the power of n is equal to sine square theta now why sine square theta uh, this looks like this if we do the substitution there will be some simplifications so let's see uh, now if x to the power of n is equal to sine square theta x would be equal to sine square theta to the power of 1 by n which means sine 2 by n theta would be x now let's do the differentiation of this n x to the power of n minus 1 dx is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta d theta now dx is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta d theta divided by uh, x n x to the power of n minus 1 and let's do the substitution for x 2 sin theta cos theta d theta by n times now x is sin 2 by n theta to the power of n minus 1 so that would give us 2 sin theta cos theta d theta divided by n sin 2 2 by n times n will give us 2 minus 2 by n theta so 2 minus 2 by n is the exponent okay now let's take care of the boundaries so when x is equal to 0 so when can this x be equal to 0 when theta is 0 when can x be 1 when sin theta is equal to or theta is equal to pi by 2 so let's do the substitution integral 0 to 1 of dx by square root of 1 minus x to the power of n is equal to 0 to pi by 2 of 1 by 1 minus sin square theta times dx dx is 2 sin theta cos theta d theta divided by n times uh, sin to the power of 2 minus 2 by n theta okay let's take this 2 by n out the reason i am not taking it as uh, sin 2 theta is because this remember will become cos square theta square root of cos square theta is cos theta cos theta can cancel with can cos theta so that is why 2 i am taking it out so this becomes 1 by cos theta times 2 has gone out sin theta cos theta d theta by n times sin 2 minus 2 by n theta cos theta cos theta cancels 2 by n 0 to pi by 2 d theta by n has gone out so i don't need to write this n also here okay sin to the power of 2 minus 2 by n minus 1 since we have brought this down minus 1 theta 
so this becomes 2 by n 0 to pi by 2 of t theta by sine uh, 2 minus 1 is 1 so 1 minus 2 by n theta okay and 0 to pi by 2 if we bring this to the numerator what happens it becomes to the power of minus 1 so then this will become 2 by n minus 1 theta d theta yes so this is where we have reached now uh, something similar to this we remember right so something uh, we have already done so we know 0 to pi by 2 of sine n theta d theta is equal to what this is duplication formula the corollary part the square root of pi by 2 gamma of 1 no not 1 n plus 1 by 2 divided by gamma of n plus 2 by 2 this is the duplication formula the corollary part okay so let's use this so therefore uh, 0 to 1 dx by square root of 1 minus x to the power of n is equal to mm, 2 by n 0 to pi by 2 of sine 2 by n minus 1 theta d theta so now let's apply the duplication formula so this whole thing is n yeah, as part of this okay so 2 by n times square root of pi by 2 gamma of 2 by n minus 1 plus 1 by 2 divided by gamma of 2 by n minus 1 plus 2 by 2 okay this is equal to square root of pi by n times gamma of uh, 2 by 2 n okay and then we have gamma of uh, uh, minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1 so plus 1 so 2 by n plus 2 by 2 divided by 2 okay so square root of pi by n gamma of 1 by n divided by gamma of 2 by n we can say 2 by 2n yes plus 2 by 4 so 1 by 2 so this finally becomes square root of pi by n gamma of 1 by n by gamma of 1 by n plus 1 by 2 which is what we had to show so this is integral of 0 to 1 of dx by square root of 1 minus x to the power of n okay now as far as the problem statement is concerned we have done but uh, if we take it a little bit further see uh, let's see whether we can find something interesting uh, this square root of pi is nothing but uh, gamma of half n times gamma of 1 by n plus half now this looks very very similar to what beta of 1 by n comma half plus we have 1 by n yes so this is equal to this 
and this can also be written as this okay let's do the next one integral 0 to pi by 2 of square root of tan theta d theta is equal to pi by root 2 we have to show that okay now remember this can be written as tan theta to the power of 1 by 2 d theta yes this can be further written in terms of sin theta cos theta yes and then we can bring the cos theta up so sin half theta cos minus half theta d theta this is something very similar to what we already know so 2m minus 1 is equal to half which means which implies 2m is equal to plus 1 so 3 by 2 which implies m is equal to 3 by 4 similarly 2n minus 1 is equal to minus half which implies 2n is equal to minus half plus 1 is half which implies n is equal to 1 by 4 okay now let's do the uh, substitution um, actually you know what um, this can be written as let's do the substitutions so we get 0 to no we can directly use one of our results previously which we have found and that is this can be written as 1 by 2 beta of 3 by 4 comma 1 by 4 yes and this can be written as gamma of 3 by 4 gamma of 1 by 4 divided by gamma of 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is 1 so gamma of 1 is 1 okay now again you have to be you know um, uh, open to the properties this is 3 by 4 this is 1 by 4 uh, this 1 by 4 can be written in terms of 3 by 4 or th better still 3 by 4 can be written as uh, in terms of 1 by 4 so we can write uh, 1 by 4 let's write it first and then this can be written as 1 minus 1 by 4 right and this is one property we have already seen gamma of m times gamma of 1 minus m is equal to pi by sin m pi okay so we have already seen gamma of m uh, this is gamma of 1 minus m is equal to pi by sin m pi okay so let's substitute it 1 by 2 gamma of 1 by 4 1 minus 1 by 4 so m is 1 by 4 so this becomes so sine pi by 4 now sine pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 so pi by mm, root 2 can be taken up by 2 times root 2 by times root 2 gives us pi times 2 by 2 root 2 these two gets cancelled and we are left with pi by root 2 which is what we had to show now here the critical thing is remembering that this can be written in terms of beta then beta can be written in terms of gamma then this particular one that 
3 by 4, gamma of 3 by 4 and gamma of 1 by 4 can be written in terms of 1 by 4. So that we get this pattern and then we can do this substitution. Okay. Let us look at another interesting problem. Show that integral of 0 to pi by 2 of sin to the power of p theta d theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 cos p theta d theta is equal to 1 times 3 times 5 times up to p minus 1 by 2 times 4 times 6 times up to p times pi by 2. Now this is when p is even integer and 2 times 4 times 6 times up to p minus 1 by 1 times 3 times 5 times up to p. No pi by 2 here. When p is odd. Okay, now let us take it one by one. When p is even. So, let us say p is equal to 2t because we want p to be even. So, if p is uh, then 0 to pi by 2 of sine p theta d theta is equal to remember this property square root of pi by 2 times gamma of p plus 1 by 2 by gamma of p plus 2 by 2. This we have already seen. Now in this we are going to substitute p by 2t. So which means this becomes square root of pi by 2 times gamma of 2t plus 1 by 2 divided by gamma of 2t plus 2 by 2 square root of pi by 2 times this can be written as gamma of 2t by 2 is t plus 1 by 2 by gamma of 2t by 2 is t plus 2 by 2 is 1 and we have already seen that t plus half can be written as 2t minus 1, 2t minus 3 and so on up to say 5, 3, 1. This we have already seen and we end up with in the denominator to the power of t and the denominator here gamma of t plus 1 is nothing but t factorial and I forgot the square root of pi in the numerator. Okay, so let us do the substitution 0 to pi by 2 of sin p theta d theta is equal to a square root of pi by 2 times gamma of t plus half is 2t minus 1 2t minus 3 5 3 1 and square root of pi divided by to the power of t divided by gamma of t plus 1 which is t factorial okay so this can be written as square square root of pi square root of pi becomes pi by 2 2t two minus 1 5 3 1 divided by 2 to the power of t this is to the power of not times t 2 to the power of t t factorial can be written as t times t minus 1 dot 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 3 2 1 pi by 2 and this is the tricky part which you have to be aware of. This 2 to the power of t, you have this t times 2. 
each of these twos can be multiplied with this terms of this factorial. So what will happen? You will end up with 2t times 2 times t minus 1 and so on and here you will have 6, 4, 2. Yes. Okay. So now pi by 2 times this will become what? p minus 1 dot 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 5, 3, 1 by p times 6, 4, 2 or just rearrange it to get what we want. 1, 3, 5 dot 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 p minus 1 by 2, 4, 6 dot 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 t. This is what we had to show. Now let us look at the second case. When p is odd integer. Okay. So, 0 to pi by 2 of sin p theta d theta is equal to square root of pi by 2. This we have previous, uh, done. So, gamma of p plus 1 by 2 by gamma of p plus 2 by 2. Yes. Now, since it is an odd integer, let us say p is equal to 2q plus 1. Okay. So, our this one will become root pi by 2 times gamma of 2q plus 1 plus 1 by 2 by gamma of 2q plus 1 plus 2 by 2 square root of pi by 2 times and this will become uh, 2q by 2 that is q plus 2 by 2 that is 1 by gamma of 2q by 2 is q plus 1 plus 2 3 3 by 2 and we also know that gamma of q plus 1 is nothing but q factorial yes so we will have gamma of q plus 3 by 2 gamma of q plus 3 by 2 is what we have to solve so this can be written as let us do it like this q plus 3 by 2 be split it into half plus 1 yes this can be written as remember gamma of n plus 1 is n gamma n so q plus half gamma q plus half now this q plus half can be written as again let us do it can be written as q minus half plus 1 minus half plus 1 is plus half so q plus half uh, is same now gamma of this can be written as q minus half gamma of q minus half and if you remember as we keep doing this we will end up with q minus half till 1 by 2 root pi okay so now that we have got q plus 3 by 2 let's substitute it so 0 to pi by 2 of sine p theta d theta is equal to square root of pi by 2 times q factorial is already there divided by q plus half q minus half dot 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 till 1 by 2 square root of pi the square root of pi square root of pi gets cancelled q factorial can be written as q times q minus 1 q minus 2 2 3 2 1 by 
this 2 and 2 also gets cancelled. q plus 1 by 2 can be written as q 2q plus 1, 2q minus 1. Remember they will all have by 2 by 2, 1 by 2. Yes, these 2's we can take it up. Yes, so this becomes 2q times 2q minus 1 times 2 q minus 2 2 times 3 2 times 2 2 times 1 and divided by you will be left with 2 plus q dot 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 1 or better still we can write it as 5 times 3 times 1 2q plus 1 equal to p so 2q would be p minus 1 so this would become p minus 1 and this will keep going uh, reducing by 2 6 4 2 in the denominator you will have p and this will go on 5 3 1 now it's just a question of rearranging is 2 4 6 dot 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 p minus 1 divided by 1 3 5 dot 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 up to p so this is what we had to prove so i think that's enough for today bye for now